Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, before I go into today's session, so I would like to, uh, we recently crossed 10,000 subscribers and uh, uh, thanks everyone for your support guys. So, and we are fast marching towards the next milestone. So 15,000 subscribers. Uh, so today's session, I would like to cover in the today's session, I would like to cover uh, a Loderna 2023 installation guys. Okay. So I'm doing it on a new machine. Uh, and, uh, you know, first before starting load on a 2023 installation, right? So I'd like to show you something. Just Google search for load on a 2023 session requirements. Okay. 2024 is not yet released, right? Because, you know, like, uh, I don't think 2024 is released. And uh, I, I had recently downloaded uh, the community edition from uh, just today morning. I, I had, uh, you know, downloaded load on version from microfocus website so on 14th april 2024 guys okay so before that you know before starting installation so check the system requirements guys it is always a good practice to, to check the system requirements as we explain in the um as we explain you know in the training so it's always you know good practice to check the system requirements okay so just Google search for load on a 2023 system requirements. And now I got this PDF and, you know, let me quickly show you the requirements. So you can see here, you know, processor required is two core CPU is supported. However, you know, recommended is eight core CPU. Let me quickly show you, let me compare like, you know, uh, how to uh, check our, whether our system meets the requirements or not. Open a task manager and go to uh, processor performance tab. And there you select CPU. And there you can see that, you know, the number of processors on my machine is 12. You can see here, or, you know, it is a 10 core processor minus a 10 core processor, as you can see here. Okay. Hold on, guys, just give me a moment. Yeah. So it is a 10 core processor, right? So now, you know, it meets the requirements and then RAM. And now again, so RAM, the recommended RAM is, let me pull it to the other side or, you know, hold on, this is only better. Yeah. So supported RAM is, 8 GB, however, recommended one is 16 GB. I'm having 16 GB RAM on my machine. Let me quickly show you. You can see here, this is, you know, my system. I'm currently having, you know, 16 GB RAM on my machine. One second, just give me a moment. Let me use uh, the spotlight. Yeah, you can see here, you know, my RAM is 16 GB RAM. My uh, RAM on my machine is 16 GB and available hard disk space or SSD, right? Which would be 100 GB SSD. 100 GB of SSD uh, of hard disk space is, you know, recommended to have if it is a SSD drive. And now let me quickly show you that this is a brand new machine. So which, uh, you know, like, uh, hold on one second. So nothing was installed on this machine yet except the operating system. Yeah. Now you can see that, you know, I have 120 GB of free disk space on me in my C drive. If you don't have enough, you know, at least the required hard disk space on your system. So, you know, you can install on your, a on the other drives, whether, you know, a D drive or E drive. This is SSD guys, you can please ignore this. Okay. So, but these are my system drives, C, D and E. Suppose in case, in your case, if you don't have, you know, at least 50 GB. So observe here, guys, uh, supported is 50 GB. You should have at least 50 GB of hard space in your C drive. If it is not there, choose some other drive. Simply choose some other drive. Okay. If if you don't have any other drive, if you have only C drive, you have to clear up the space, obviously. Uh, and then coming. So these are hardware requirements. Guys. You can see here, you know, these are hardware requirements that, you know, Open text or load on a team has clearly mentioned. And now coming to software requirements, the operating system should be either Windows 10 or Windows 11 or Windows you know, Server 2012 or 16 or 19 or 2022. So these are the uh, recommend recommended one is 2019, of course, right? And 2010. However, you know, so this is supported. Windows 11 is supported. Now quickly, let me quickly show you my system. You know, I'm having 11 Pro on this machine. Let me quickly show you that, guys. Okay. So go to your desktop and right click and uh, hold on. Sorry. So, right. Oh. Right click and go to properties. There it will show you the operating system. Right. Here you can see Windows 11 Pro. Okay. Yeah. 
and then now you can see here the process configuration so ram configuration processor configuration ram process ram uh, processor clock speed and all this mine is a i7 13th generation process uh, 13th generation processor guys and this is 1.7 gigahertz 1.7 gigahertz okay so it is uh, 64 bit operating system most of the operating system nowadays are 64 bit only so important things that you need to check is 13th generation if you, and if you observe, observe here, this is i7. This number indicates the generation. Of course, here it's clearly mentioned here. If it is not, even if it is not mentioned, you know, this number indicates the generation. And this is clock speed, processor clock speed. The higher it is, the faster your system will be, isn't it? Now this is operating system on my machine. Clear case? All right, now let me, let me go back to the system requirements document. Yeah, so, and you know, screen resolution should be 1600 into 1900 or higher. That is recommended, isn't it? Now, you know, you can, let us check that as well. Hold on this, somehow. Go to display settings and you can see here, you know, what is the resolution? Observe here, 1920 by 1200 is the, is the current display resolution on my machine, on this machine, particular machine. And recommended is 1600 into 1900 or higher. So all the checkboxes are uh, ticked, right? And, be and before you install any components on a Windows machine, you should make sure that full set of Windows updates has been installed. This is another important thing, guys. If, if the updates are not installed, make sure that you install at least these updates, okay? So however, let me quickly show you. So how to check the Windows updates. Most of you should be knowing that. So however, you know, in all my batches, I, I'll be having some non-computer space. So search for Windows updates over here and, you know, go to Windows update setting and make sure that, you know, like all the updates are done. Okay. So, yeah, there is one update that is pending. Let me install it. Intel net something. It seems that let me quickly install it. So make sure that you update, you do all the Windows updates before installing Roadrunner particularly, guys. Please follow the system requirements document. Otherwise, you know, you may run into some issues. Now it is completed. This one is completed. And also make sure you select this one. You check this one. You check and select this option. Okay, which one? Uh, hold on, this one second. You can, use, you know, like this one. Get the Windows up latest updates as soon as available. Turn it on. Turn it on, please, so that you know your system will be up to date. Right? All right. Now let me clear this drawings. All right. Now let us proceed with the load owner installation. Yes. Okay. Now, what is it saying? Component coexistence. Roadrunner full installation is installed on a single machine. Must be installed on a separate machine. So, yeah. So this is not, uh, you know, you need not worry about this or you, you need not bother about this. Now, let us quickly go to the uh, Roadrunner installation. Okay. So I had, as I said, I mentioned, you know, like uh, I had in, downloaded latest version of Roadrunner today from Microfocus website. And this is the installation file. And it will be, if you observe the size, it will be, uh, 1.3 gigabyte, 1.3 gigabyte, yes. Let me quickly show you that, right? 1.32 gigabyte, right? Now, let me start installation. Let me close any unwanted programs, okay? So this is showing you the processor utilization on my machine, if you observe here right and uh, cpu uh, memory utilization or uh, ram utilization on my machine currently right let me close this I'll close the unwanted programs if uh, any other unwanted programs are there so like share subscribe to our youtube channel and turn on all notifications guys if you want to receive such a free sessions and updates on the new batches. Uh, we are currently running, you know, load uh, performance testing and engineering training with Loadrunner JMeter tools, Loadrunner JMeter Blaze Meter, Splunk, Dynatrace. So Splunk and Dynatrace, we, I'm going to start Splunk and Dynatrace in a week. I'm waiting for the Loadrunner installation installer to come up. Yeah. Now you can see, yeah, this is loaded at 2021. Yes, you can see here open text virtual user generator 2021. CE means community edition, by the way. Okay, so click on next.
so the new version may be having some uh, minor defects or bugs minor defects basically so what uh, there is a difference between bug and a defect most of you may be knowing that so newer version may be having some may be having might be having some defects that's fine uh, okay now you know like uh, now and then like uh, whenever you know there is a defect like uh, we'll get a hot fix for that so i hope you know what is a hot fix right uh, most of you know what is a hot fix and a cold fix the bug fix what is the difference between them so we'll see if there is any if at all there are any defects we'll see you know like if there are any uh hot fixes available right now what is it saying the following prerequisite programs must all be installed before you can install this loader uh, this open text virtual user generator c means community edition i repeated community edition is nothing but trial version so 24.1 means this is loader 2024 version okay this is major version and this is minor version 24 is the major version and dot one is the minor version yes now what is was it, what is it saying so all these prerequisite programs should be installed it seems so just click ok you can you can read it here click ok to begin installing these programs now right just click ok and proceed and let it you know install all the prerequisites it is installing right now you can see as you can see it is installing visual c++ 2015 to 2022 distributable it seems should not take much time uh because you know it is a fresh machine and uh, we don't have we have enough ram and uh, you know hard disk space available in the c drive and enough ram available as you can see here in the task manager you can see the available ram is six and a half gb now right cpu utilization is around uh, 30 to 50 percent varying between 30 to 50 percent So while the installation is going on, so let me quickly go to and show you my Insta page, guys. So we recently started Instagram page. So please follow our Instagram page. JMIT.NN.com. So where we are, you know, uh, sharing new batch updates and, uh, you know, any referral openings that we are getting uh, coming across and all those. So hold on, guys. Let me, yeah. Let it continue. And we are also running a Facebook page, uh, multiple Facebook pages. So please follow our Facebook pages. Let me quickly log into my Instagram account while the installation is going on. I'm sorry. One second. Let me welcome to open text virtual user generator CE24.1 setup wizard. Click next. Okay, accept the terms and conditions, click install. Yeah, let the installation pro proceed. One second, guys. Yeah, so this is our uh, Insta, Insta page, guys. So, so we recently started like uh, just a couple of weeks back. So please follow our Instagram page. So we are sharing some... Uh, new batch updates as well as you know like uh, referral openings as you can see here there are a lot of referral openings not only performance testing so we are sharing manual automation and security testing and performance whatever you come we come across related to it openings and any recruitment drives that you know that are uh, getting scheduled right new batch updates as well so please you know follow our instagram page and now we are this still is this is still going on guys And let me, meanwhile, let me show you our uh, Madhapur classroom. We recently started, uh, you know, offline training in Madhapur in a corporate office. And these are Amir Pet classroom, guys, by the way. First of all, this is our Amir Pet classroom. As you can see here, uh, AC classroom, uh, completely AC classroom. And then, yes, this is our Madhapur classroom training room, basically conference room in uh, Jain Sadhguru Images Capital Parks. Capital Park, Madhapur, and that is adjacent to Rameshwaragate. Recently, uh, 
Rameswaram cave was started adjacent to this capital park place. Okay. Or those who are aware of Rameswaram cave, those who have visited Rameswaram cave in Hyderabad, this particular, you know, uh, our office is in Jain Sad, uh, you know, Jain Sadhguru Images Capital Park adjacent to Rameswaram cave. And it is opposite in the opposite lane of Karachi Bakery Madhapur and close to Cyber Towers Metro Station. Okay, I think this information is enough. So right now we are, you know, like conducting offline training in both uh, Amir Pet and uh, Madhapur offices. Let me go back to the installation, still going on. Yeah, it will take some time because, you know, like it is installing, it has to install a lot of components, not just, you know, Vujan. So, but it will install controller analysis component and a lot of other components, license, utility tools, and load on our agent configuration need to be done. Right. So there are multiple components that get installed. That's why you can see that, you know, the file size is uh, 1.3 gigabytes, 1.3 gigs, as you can see here. Uh, right. So this is 1.32 gigs. So it will take some time around like 15 to 20 minutes based on the system configuration. Or, you know, five to, I can say five to 15 minutes based on the system configuration. You can see here, you know, available free space uh, came down by 6 GB because of this load on our installation. So that's, that's the reason, make sure that you have at least 50 GB free space on your C, C drive guys before you start the installation as explained in the system requirements document, okay? Recommended browser is Google Chrome with load runner used for, you know, to be used for recording and uh, replay protocols only. Uh, you know, I believe most of the users are using Google Chrome only nowadays. Uh, so meanwhile, you know, like, let me quickly explain the batch timings. Uh, so Amir Pet batch, I, you know, we are having classes running from morning 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. in Amir Pet. So 9 to nine to 10 a.m. we are having low turner batch. Uh, Sham is the trainer for that. And uh, from 10.30 to 12, you know, I am conducting like JMeter training. Uh, so, and, uh, you know, like in Madhapur, I'm taking sessions from 9 to 10 a.m. So that, you know, and most of the guys who are, you know, coming for Madhapur are employees. Employees and, you know, who are located close to Madhapur. So, uh, you know, like I am taking one session in Madhapur and then I am moving to Amir Bed uh, to take next batch from uh, 10.30 to uh, 2 o'clock. So I would be available in Amir Bed office from 10.30 to, uh, 10 to around 1 or 2 o'clock, right? So please note that, you know, I will not be available after lunch uh, time in, Madhap, in Amir Bed. So please, you know, if anyone want to meet me in person please you know please call me before coming please contact me on my whatsapp number this is my whatsapp number guys let me quickly show you that so here is uh, somewhere it should be oh, oh, okay i think i lost it you know in this image let me quickly show you that in some other you know uh, some other screenshot so here you can see we had recently completed five years and you know sixth year running for our institute. Here is a, here is my WhatsApp number, guys. Please save my WhatsApp number. Otherwise, you will not get updates on the new batches, as well as for any free trainings and free demo sessions and all this. So please save my WhatsApp number as in Pavan MGM IT training. So I had named my this uh, my our institute on my father's name MGM. By the way, MGM stands for. Uh, uh, Mandal Gandhi Memorial, my father's name. It's about to be completed. Guys. Installation is about to be completed in a couple of minutes. So we have we have been providing like uh, online trainings from 2018. 
and uh, we recent uh, as i said right so with 2023 we completed you know five years and we are into sixth year uh, and we trained almost like more than 1000 students only in performance testing we were into performance testing only till last month so today this morning we started you know automation testing training batch cell name with java training the trainer name is rahul we have different you know training team uh yeah so install network virtualization open readme log yeah just click on finish you know install network this is not actually required not required actually okay just click finish otherwise it will install you know that network virtualization again so not required guys so you know just click on finish that's it okay now you know what is it asking so it is asking to select an app to open the dot htm file you can choose any browser and click uh, always or just once as per your preference. Right. And now this is the readme file. That means it will tell you like what is new in Loader 2024. What is the support matrix, right? Means what are the supported operating system technologies, integrations and protocols of this uh, uh, Loader 2024. And we use an installation guide and then known issues. If there are any known issues, I'm interested to check this guys because you know, I'm curious to see if there are any defects, major defects. Okay. We'll have, you know, we'll, we'll have one more session. If there are any defects, we'll have one more session to how to fix them, how to search for the hot fix and how to fix how to fix them, get it, get them fixed. Right. Let me quickly go to you know readme file and uh, send feedback. Yeah. So you can go, you can click on any of these links as per your requirement and you can explore further. Uh, now, let me show you my desktop. Yes. So once you install load owner, so you got this virtual user generator icon only, right? Maybe, you know, like, hold on, let me check, you know, but controller also will be installed, guys. Quickly, I believe controller also will be installed. So because that was the case before when we are, you know, doing uh, the previous versions of load, previous versions of, you know, load owner. Okay. Maybe, you know, a controller will be, we need to, Install it separately, guys, with 2024 version. Loader 2024 came very recently, guys, into the market. It was released very recently. So hold on, guys. Of course, you know, the system requirements doesn't change much from version to version, guys. By the way, you may be, you may be wondering that, you know, I'm referring to 2023 because, you know, like I could not find Loader 2024 system requirements document yet. Or else, you know, we can check in the readme file. Just give me a point, guys. We use an installation guide. You can see the support matrix. Yeah, here it is. Support matrix. System requirements. So this is 24.1 system requirements document. Let me bookmark it. So there won't be much difference, guys, as you can see here. A processor is again eight core CPU, just like for 2023, as you can see here, All right? So this is also eight core CPU is recommended. 16 core, you know, like memory is 16 GB. Uh, now you can see that, you know, that would be the same. Let me close this. Okay. See, yeah. So memory is 16 GB, RAM is 16 GB recommended. And then uh, hard disk space is supported is 50 GB. Recommended is 100 GB SSD. Right, and you can see the same operating systems also supported. 21 H2, you can see here Windows 11 64 bit 21 H2. Where can you see this information? You can go to so you can go to my this PC properties. Hold on, select this. Twenty-two H two. This version is twenty-two H two, so it should be supported. Twenty-two H two. Yes, right. All right. So let me open VGen finally, and you know, let us quickly check whether the installation is successful or not. It is successful. I believe it is successful. But anyways, let me launch Vision. Uh, you have a all new interface, the splash screen. This is this screen is called a splash screen. So 
open text you know most of you are aware of that like open text has acquired micro focus and hence you are seeing this name open text uh, we use gen virtual user generator most of you who are aware of roadrunner should might you know know this already that open text acquired micro focus so hereafter so load runner will be should be called as you know open text load runner and vision is one of the component of load runner as you can see here let me quickly show you that so these are the different components of load runner here you can see vision is one of the first first and foremost component used for scripting is vision apart from that you have controller analysis components which i will you know cover it in some other session yeah so this is the interface uh, seems like there are some simple ui changes that's it not much not really much okay and this is how you start the script and these are the protocols supported by this load runner as you can see here they have added you know seems like they have added some more protocols in each row column you have three six protocols one two three four five six 30 plus protocols are supported by load runner as you can see here right so this is all uh, for the session guys this session guys this is 24.1 release load on 2024 right all right so thanks for watch watching the session till now have a nice day and if you have any if you are you know any one of your friends or relatives are looking for any performance testing training and placement okay so before i close the session let me quickly show you you know like how to reach any time on my uh, on Google page guys. So just Google search for performance testing real time training with the help of my name. Add my name also if possible. Okay. And you can see this is my Google page, which is having 95 ratings currently. All right. And here is my contact number. WhatsApp number, that is my WhatsApp number. And this is our Amir Pet classroom pick. Okay, this is our Madhapur, another classroom pick case. Uh, that was, you know, like some time back in 2022. This is our KPHB classroom in 2022. Sorry, this is before pandemic, guys. This is our KPHB classroom before pandemic. Uh, sorry, Kondapur classroom. This is, sorry, this is Kondapur classroom uh, before the pandemic. Before this uh, pandemic in 2020. All right, guys. Thank you for watching till now. So signing off. This is Pawan from MGM IT Training. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on all notifications and follow our Insta page. Okay. And uh, have a nice day, guys. Hey, I missed one thing guys to update like uh, we recently started you know automation testing as I mentioned before and uh, we are planning to start next batch this week for automation as manual as well as automation testing. So we are also offering uh, cyber security or security testing and placement. We do have a lot of referral openings. Uh, please you know please reach us if you want any uh, you know training and placement okay and uh, please you know please refer any friends or relatives you know or whether they are freshers or, you know, 2015 to 2023 passed outs, right? So those who are having career gap, you know, we don't need a beta basically. We don't, they need not be a beta graduate. They need not be an engineering graduate. Any degree qualification is fine. That, but however, that should be 15 years. Of, they should be having 15 years of full-time education. That means no correspondence. Most of the companies are not accepting uh, correspondence courses or, you know, distance education and all. So that's what we mean to say 15 years of full time education, right? So please, you know, please follow us on our Insta page and uh, thanks for your support as always. Thank you. So I'll come up with the JMeter installation, JMeter uh, latest version installation in the next video. Thank you, guys.